Hello and welcome back to Warhammer Wednesday here on Paladin Gaming. I know I said at the end of last week's video that I was going to go into the uh, camp into the Winter Assault campaign, but uh, I'm doing I'm I'm entering the Chaos Storm Grand Tournament this weekend, and I've been so busy with tournament prep I haven't had time to spend a couple of hours in Dawn of War. So instead, we're going to do a quick follow up on the. Um, on the Archon Studios uh, Rampart Terrain unboxing video I did uh, that started up, that kicked off this whole series. So as you can see, I'm working with a big stack of magnets here, and uh, I have it stuck to this uh, file to keep polarity. Um, so these uh, go, these go together with magnets. A magnet is very simple. A magnet uh, goes into this socket on the end here, and you put a magnet loose inside the pillar and it lets the walls lock together. Strong enough that it'll just lift right up. I've also, uh, I'm only just now starting to experiment with uh, putting in magnets to hold them vertically. Uh, magnets to hold the walls vertically. Now, that doesn't work quite as well because uh, for the top magnet, I have to inset it a little bit to uh, so I can put the, you know, toppers on when uh, when there's not a wall on top of the of the wall, on top uh, when it, when it's the wall on top of the stack. But um, it does help, not enough to keep it from tipping over. But if you make a stable structure by say putting them on a uh, putting another pillar on the end, it holds just fine. And that's why there's not a magnet in the bottom of this pillar. <laughs> there we go. Okay, anyway. So yeah, if you put a pillar on the end that's properly magnetized, it holds the whole structure together. Um, now one thing I have found, I know I said during the unboxing that these pillars uh, push fit together very tightly so you don't need glue. That is true of the cathedral Kickstarter, uh, the cathedral terrain that I got in their first Kickstarter, but this uh, Cobalt Foundry set, unfortunately the pillars are much looser than that, so they will just, fly, so they will just fall right off uh, under the pressure of the magnets if you put them on the wrong way. I had that happen earlier, it's not replicating right now, but point is that's way too loose if it just comes off in your hand like, if it just comes off in your hand like that. So uh, I'm having to glue these pillars together, which means I'm having to be very careful to get all the polarities right uh, before I finalize any construction. So uh, that'll be, so that'll, that's about all I have to say. This, uh, again, like I said in the, in the unboxing, the, uh, just one of these core sets retails for fit for uh, forty nine dollars and makes a huge amount of terrain. Yeah, you know, I can build a huge building out of this or several smaller ones. Anyway, so that's about all I got to say for this Warhammer Wednesday. I need to get back to painting my tournament army. Um, next week I'll probably do a an overview of the turn. I'll do an overview of the tournament army and uh, go over how I did. So, because by this time next week, I will have uh, I will have played all five rounds of the Chaos Storm GT. So I will uh, have a, I will have a, a, a short battle short form battle reports uh, for next Wednesday.